Hello friends, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to learn how to create a database connection using Derby database in NetBeans. Derby database is an inbuilt database which you get within NetBeans. So let's get into the video. You are supposed to go to the service tab. In this service tab, you'll get your database here. Right click on the Java DB. Create a database. I'll prefer keeping the name, username and the password as same. Once you have entered all the details, click on OK. A demo database connection has been created here. Right click and click on connect. The database gets connected. Enter into the URL. You will get a demo database. And within this, you have different tables here. We have created a new connection. We don't have any other tables here. We will just right click, create a table. I'll create a student table. Lad columns. ID. The first column is going to take a integer value. I'll add one more column name it's going to take a value value and enter the limit size okay. i'll make it as a primary key the first column okay. so i have just given a name i've created two columns here okay a student table has been created here right click view data you'll get a view of your new table which has been created first one is id column and the second one is name as the table is blank because we have not entered any data here we can add data into the table i'll add one more row you can see the table student with all the details which we have just entered. Next step, create a project and connect it to the database. File, new project, web application. The project name is demo data. Next, finish. Right click, I'll create a servlet and try accessing the database using the servlet enter the code which is required to connect the database the username and the password which i have entered was demo we can copy paste the connection url from the connection database connection which we have created right click properties database url copy the url and paste it the username and the password should be within the quotes Try and a catch block for the connection to the database connectivity. Import the files which are required. The files has been imported here. So once the database is connected, a database connected message would get displayed on the screen. Let's run and see the program run you can see the database connection has been established through the URL 
username and the password. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video.